Good morning. We're going to take uh, the derivative of this function, y equals the log base 25 of e to the x minus the log base 5 of the square root of x. Uh, this will give you practice in both using uh, properties of logarithms to take derivatives and derivatives of logarithms base other than e, which uh, a lot of people seem to have trouble with sometimes. I've seen. Anyway, sorry, my own comment. So, uh, I have the exponent of x on e, so I can bring that down in front. So y equals x times the log base of 25 of e. I could actually do some stuff with that uh, base of 25, but I'm going to wait until we take the derivative. Um, I, I don't know if that's really that intuitive to some people, so I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, we have an uh, exponent on our argument of x as one half, so we can bring that down in front. We have the log base 5 of x, negative one half times the log base 5 of x. I really don't see much else to do uh, except to recognize that the log base 25 of e is a constant. Uh, it's not a, there's no product rule going on here, so. I, so we're just really taking the derivative of x when we do this and this be 1 and times this constant. So we have uh, y prime, the derivative of x is 1, so that just leaves the constant. Ooh, I don't know why I'm doing that, which is the log base 25 of e uh, minus 1 half. And we have times the natural log, I mean the natural log. The log base 5 of x, it's still 1 over the argument, so it's 1 over x, times 1 over the natural log of uh, the base, which is 25. And I'm trying to figure out why I would want to do anything else there. Um, oh, I see I could use the change of base formula right here to write, rewrite this uh, log of base 25 of e although i don't know if you'd really want to do this i just i know the solutions manuals are going to do this so that's the uh I, i'm just going to use the natural log because i have an e here makes sense natural log of e over uh the natural log of the base which is the natural log of 25 which is actually 5 squared uh minus 2x natural log of 5 uh, natural log of e is 1. The natural log of 25 is the natural log of 5 squared. And you might already see where I'm going with this. So I got 1 over the natural log of 5 squared minus 1 over 2x natural log of 5. Well, properties of logarithms, we can bring that 2 down in front. So we have uh, 1 over 2 times the natural log of 5 minus 1 over 2x natural log of 5. Now my common denominator is just 2x natural log of 5. I have a 2 on this side, natural log of 5 in the denominator, so I just need an x in the numerator. And I guess that's the point of this problem. So our numerator becomes um, x minus 1 divided by 2x uh, natural log of five.